Good morning, good morning. Uh, good morning. Devotional scripture is taken from Psalm, no, excuse me, Genesis, the first chapter, and verse 26. And it reads as follows And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion. Oh, the fish of the sea, and over oh, the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and over all of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. The word of God for the people of God. Question. What does these verses say to you and I today when it says, God say, let us, let us make man in our image? It speaks to the triune God of the Godhead that consists of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And then in speaking that he given us his image and likeness and that it would be in the likeness that when he, God, would appear in the form of his son, Jesus Christ. Because his son, Jesus Christ, took on the form of humanity, hum humanity. And he is the final, Jesus Christ, is the final revelation of God himself. We know throughout the Old Testament, God has spoken to humanity through different times, different places, and different forms. But he's still God. And when Jesus Christ, who is God, God's only son, came to earth, he was the final revelation of God. And another point I want to say, I ask the question, what does it mean for, to you and I when we read this scripture that we, humanity, is created in the image of and the likeness of God, that should give us a profound love for God, that we are created in his image and likeness, that we can have an intimate relationship that uniquely uh, reflects his unconditional love his glory and his holiness. He put into all humanity the will and the ability to make choices to choose right or wrong. And we have a more likeness to God because God is morally right, upright, holy, and righteous. And we have that same capacity. Okay, now we know that in the beginning, man, Adam and Eve, he noticed he created a man and a woman. He didn't create two of the same or nothing. He created them. He gave the little sinless and, and morally right like God. All of us have that moral likeness to God. And he gave us to, to obtain wisdom, which is the heart of God. And that will lead us to do the right thing. Okay, another thing I want to point out here is that humanity being made in the image of God does not mean that we are divine is that we were created a little lower than the angels with the um, uh, individuality 
from Adam and Eve. But we are created not to be independent of, from God, but dependent upon God. Because he promised that he will provide all of our needs. And if you notice, and you reflect on Adam and Eve and the God, everything they needed was in the God for their good. And he told them one thing, do not eat of their forbidden fruit. And with having the ability to make choices, they made a wrong choice. And the sin and, the, and obeying God is a sin, the sin of disobedience. That's how sin entered the world. But thank God for Jesus. He restored man's uh, relationship with God the Father. And I just want us to reflect on the fact that Humanity is created in the image and likeness of God. We have the, the holiness, the ability to be holy and live upright by walking in his righteousness, obeying his commands, and live a long life, a long blessed life, and then seek godly wisdom. It's a wonderful thing for us to know and feel that, yes, I am, and accept the fact I am special to God. First, because I was created last I, of God's creative activities. He created everything, and then he created man last and because he breathed the breath of life into us, and we must recognize and thank God that he loved his prized creation enough that he will breathe the breath of life in us. And we have his breath. We breathe in his breath. That it alone shows his love for his prized creation. Thank God and have a blessed day.